All right, I'm gonna put on some blood. We're doing a little bit of a role play situation where I'm playing a brother-in-law and I get punched in the face. And this is a mock crisis scenario and we'll see how it all plays out. He's married to my sister. Washington State, domestic violence. We're, that, that's, we're done. Don't touch me, don't touch me. It's extremely important that officers don't see the people in the community as something less than human. And it's hard to hurt somebody, it's hard to kill somebody when you see them as a, as a full-fledged human being. When I came here and started watching how we were training, I reflected back on my three decades as a cop and said, what we're doing while we have them in training is not supporting what I've seen in good policing my whole career. And so I wanted to make the training more focused on the way good cops handle calls in the street. You're dealing with human beings all the time. A lot of times you're dealing with human beings that are in uh, very chaotic, um, very vulnerable situations. He's my brother-in-law. Okay, he's my brother-in-law. My sister's Storm. We have implemented a full crisis intervention training module into our basic training. Crisis intervention training gives the officers the skills to deal with and de-escalate people who are having a mental health crisis. I think the pushback was the fear that if we don't put enough emphasis on the skills of defending oneself, that we were going to put officers at risk. Elbow, elbow, chop. We haven't lost any of the defensive tactics. We haven't lost any of the firearms. We haven't lost any of that. We just have added to it saying, hey, here's some other things that you can do too. You don't have to pull your gun at them and, and shoot them. You don't have to use your baton. What I'm trying to tell them is do what good cops have always done. Be noble, be honorable. You are serving and protecting your community. And I use the term guardian because for me, I thought that captured that. A guardian is protecting the community from threats.